Hi there, my name is Teresa Bockwald and I'm coming to you today from Vivado LLC to talk to you about SSA 16 or SAS 70 analysis documents. First, let's back up. What is an SSA 16 or a SAS 70? So that's a document that details the internal controls at your vendor site that you should be able to ideally rely upon in order to feel comfortable that the assets they have in your possession, either tangible or intangible, are protected. So what this document will detail for, usually they're about 60 pages long. They're often not that great of a read. Um, but, you know, they, they tell you a lot of valuable information. And where people usually go wrong with these documents is they assume just because they have one that that means that they're okay. And the truth is actually you have to read it. Sorry. Um, so we actually have a great template on accountingtemplates.com that will actually also walk you through how to analyze these documents. But it's, it's essential that you should read it. And what this document's going to go tell you to do is it's going to walk you through the procedures that they have in place to protect your money. So as a, for instance, say you have a payroll vendor who's going to uh, Use, take the money that you're giving them to process your payroll and disperse it to your employees through either checks or EFTs or that kind of thing. They actually have possession of that money for that duration that you've given it to them. And they officially, you know, are supposed to dispense it to the employees, but they could do something nefarious with it. So, for instance, the SSA 16 document is supposed to tell you how you should feel comfortable that they're not going to do that and what internal controls they have for you to feel confident that they, your money and your assets are protected. So in the checklist that we have, for instance, it's going to walk you through what you want to look for. You want to look for the fact that it's SSA 16 Type 2, not a Type 1, and we have more details about why on our website. You also want to go through and check the internal controls that the vendor is actually asking you to have in place. They'll be detailed inside of that document that they give you, and it's going to detail for you what you need to, in order for them to, uh, in order for you two to basically work together. You have to say, um, I have these internal controls on my end, they have these internal controls on their end, and that's how your assets stay secure, is that they work together. It's going to tell you that. It's also going to tell you whether or not they found any fraud, anything you should be concerned about. I have read uh, SSA 16 documents that have said basically you can't trust us and you want to you know not give your assets intangible or tangible to us so again remembering that you must read it and must analyze what they're trying to tell you is the most valuable thing I can I can urge you to do right now so we have a lot more information about this topic on our blog Vobato.com, or we have also the templates that help you analyze this document on accountingtemplates.com we hope you check it out if you have any more uh, questions or anything give us give us a shout thank you <music>